Welcome to the fourth installation of this video series that is focused on AI and ML at ClickSense. I'm going to touch upon how we are using machine learning services in our current platform, as well as hint at some soon to be released items that we are very excited to bring to market. My name is Nasser Bumpus. I'm a product manager here for Augmented Analytics. What I'd like to do is start with an overview of what was covered in a previous demo, which is specifically analysis types in Insight Advisor. Insight Advisor creates recommendations and visualizations for you using the Click Engine and the application's logical model. Insight Advisor, as I covered before, encompasses a couple of different interactions. Those are Insight Advisor Chat, Insight Advisor Search, and also Analysis Types. Now, Analysis Types is a brand new offering from Click that offers a guided authoring experience. I'm a user and I would like to create a breakdown chart but perhaps I don't know how to. Insight Advisor will handle all of the steps to create a chart once I, as a user, have selected the proper measure, the proper number of measures and dimensions. One can work with this directly within the sheet and also take advantage of the powerful exploration capabilities that are native to QCS. We are continuing to roll out more and more of these analysis types. In fact, we are up to 21 available options now but what we've started to do is leverage machine learning services in our latest analysis type offerings. There are a couple of live examples that I'd like to touch upon. The first item is forecasting. So ClickSense supports multiple engine functions that are used to calculate a forecast. What we have done is automated the creation of a forecast by creating an analysis type. As long as the data model contains historical time-based data, then we can predict future events. The next item is STL, or more commonly referred to as time series decomposition. The idea here is that you can take a complex data set or a complex problem and you can break it down into manageable chunks. A signal can be split out into four key components. These four key components are observed, trend, seasonality, and noise. Another example of an analysis type that uses machine learning services is clustering. Clustering is a machine learning technique that involves the grouping of data points. The logic here is that the data points that are within the same group should have similar properties and or features. Yet another example, and I'll pause after that, is anomaly detection. Anomaly detection is probably one of the most common use cases for machine learning. The general purpose is to identify any deviations amongst a data set. It is very commonly used in identifying cases of fraud in other financial projects. I have also seen this used to identify data processing areas and even identify trends in cybersecurity attacks. What I'm going to do is quickly demo the clustering capability that is directly within ClickSense. To do so, I first must open an application that pertains to a uh, ticket consumption application Next, I'm going to open up a sheet and navigate into Insight Advisor. Once within Insight Advisor, I'm going to scroll over to the analysis types. Here I will select clustering k-means, which will then prompt me to select the proper, never, the proper number of measures and dimensions. So that's one dimension and two measures. The dimension that I'm going to select is agent. The measures that I'll select um, are going to be very simple. I'll use ticket age and tickets, the number of tickets. Upon selection, you'll see that a result has been returned. The result was two clusters of which I can choose to uh, explore further by exporting into the native sheet experience. Switching tracks a little bit, I'd like to touch upon uh, a future release of ours as well. So an item that has not been released, but is on track to be released soon is key drivers. And I touched on, on this item during our Click World presentation. For a quick overview, key drivers represents the overall impact a bunch of influencers can have on a target. It's primarily used for modeling purposes. Essentially, first you want to be able to identify what the influences are on a target. Then you want to be able to calculate and rank the impact of these influencers on that target using a variety of scores like F1 and others. And then ultimately, once you have these results, 
an, an end user should be able to test and explore by applying user selections, by making changes to the original data model, all to support a specific outcome that the user is looking for. So let's use a, another common example here, which could be, I would like to influence customer churn. Right. To do so, first I need to understand what is influencing the target that I've identified as customer churn. Then I'd like to look into the top influencers. Perhaps there's a, a large list, but I want to focus on the important influencers. Then, now that I have that, ba that baseline, I can go ahead and make modifications uh, within the model to really improve that score and improve that customer churn. Now this is early access, uh, so I can only reference a couple of screenshots here and this is still being developed. But note that a user can activate this functionality directly within the sheet experience itself. So a frontline analyst can use this to guide further discussion and also further exploration. That's all I can say about this for now. Stay tuned for more updates on this item as it gets ready to ultimately GA. This demo here was an introduction to how we are using machine learning services, but it's really important to note that the machine learning services that we are using are evolving daily here at Click. So expect more and more exciting releases in the future. In that vision is another item which we are calling proactive, essentially a user's ability to receive insights that are calculated asynchronously in a suitable format that's really easy for consumption. You know, this, this could be within the sheets, this could be a feed, what have you. I will share more details on this vision in another call but this represents another exciting evolution of analytics here at ClickSense. Thank you for listening in. Should you have any questions, feel free to explore our What's New section in ClickHelp or reach out directly for time with the product management team on the overall roadmap.